Benny Bristow, and I've written 150 poems on the book of Psalms. Here are poems 61 through 80. Hear me, O God, as I come to you in prayer. For wherever I may be, I lift to you my cry. In peaceful times or when overwhelmed, I need you as a rock that is higher than I. With your eternal power and great glory, you know within my life just what I need. You are my shelter and my strong tower, delivering me from Satan, my enemy. God, my God, the true God of glory, the only God of power and righteousness, because of you I shall not be moved, for you're the rock of strength and rest. Then I give to you my trust at all times. Riches with promises would let me down. So I wait patiently for your eternal glory. For it is only in you that salvation is found. In all situations of life, we need to seek God. For he shapes our souls like a potter. May we earnestly seek his powerful glory, like one in a desert land without water. Then, as long as we live upon the earth, let us lift up our hands to, holy, to his holy name, for his righteousness is greater than life. Honor him on his throne where he reigns. I come to you, O God, with sincere meditation thinking of enemy tongues with evil words. They sharpen their tongues like a sword by speaking rumors of what they have heard. But you, O oh God, will shoot them with arrows unless they turn to you from their evil way. They will become spiritually wounded forever, facing your wrath on the judgment day. It takes only a few moments of pondering to view your awesome creation and see that you visit the earth to water and enrich it and give beauty and food for man to eat. You crown the earth with great goodness and send forth the abundance of rain. You clothe the pastures with beautiful flocks and cause the valleys to be filled with grain. Lift up your voice with joyful songs to God. Sing out honor and praise to His holy name. Praise Him for all His works in the earth. His power and glory are always the same. God guided His people in years of the past. He turned the sea to become dry land. He showed them his mighty power forever. Then sing praises for his powerful hand. Sing a special song to God for blessings. Let all peoples and nations sing for joy with his actions and ways on the earth. We should never doubt or be annoyed. The greatest hope we can ever have in this world of daily burdens and rush, is to receive mercy and blessings from God by causing His face to shine on us. Sing to God, sing praises to His holy name, for He has guided His children's way like wings of a dove covered with silver. We know that He will do the same today. For God rides on the heavens of heaven. He displays his strength within the clouds. So we should sing and magnify him daily by raising heartfelt anthems joyfully found. When I slide deeper and deeper into sin, deliver me out of the mire before I sink. 
Do not let the floodwaters drown me, as one of your children make me clean. Hear me, O Lord, out of your loving kindness. Draw near me and redeem my evil way. Do not turn away your merciful face, for my soul longs for you night and day. My God, the only true God in heaven, make haste to hear my cry and deliver me. Even when I make choices of right, there are those who become my enemy. Let me seek your, you each day and be glad by living my life in your righteous way and continually lean on your deliverance by following the light of your sun rays. Lord, let my mouth be filled with praise, for you are my rock and strength each day. Do not cast me aside in you, my old age. Let me have strength to follow your way. Help me, dear God, to be aware and see that your righteousness is so very high and that the days you give me in life will lift you up both now and by and by. Lord God, designer of heaven and earth, I come lifting you up by praising your name. You send water to cause all things to grow and cover the hills and mountains with green grain. You are worthy to receive eternal glory, for without doubt you are the greatest giver. You are the awesome God of all creation. Let your name and glory be blessed forever. When your heart is very heavy from the many burdens of sin, you should seek God's forgiveness, for He is an eternal friend. When it seems your life is hopeless, with no place that you can go, He's the one who can cleanse you. He can make you white as snow. God, our God and Father in heaven, we need you now to hear our cries Satan is attacking with his evil ones, tempting millions daily to pass you by. War is being made on your existence. Blasphemy spoken against your word. Help us as your children then to show that these evil ones should not be heard. Give thanks to God and lift him high with a declaration for all the world to hear, praising his marvelous works of creation and declare that his mighty name is near. Who are we on earth that we should boast about our earthly works of endeavor? For only God is filled with awesome power and should be honored now and forever. To the faithful, God is so very gentle, but to the evil ones, there is much to fear, for his judgment will come from heaven, and the sound of his wrath will be we hear. There will be joy for those who obey him, yes, a reward for those filled with love, for they will receive eternal salvation from the God who rules from above. Our God is surely the Great One forever. He rules the skies, storms, and rolling seas. He gives sound to both wind and thunder, and His magic, majestic power will forever be. He causes the clouds to pour out their water, as heaven and earth show his wonders. He paints clouds with streaks of lightning and shakes the earth with claps of thunder. 
God did great wonders with his pe people of old. He performed miracles in Egypt, all could see. By his all-powerful hand, he parted the waters and destroyed their enemy in the sea. Day by day, God let, led them with the cloud. Then all the night, with the light of a fire, even fed them with angels' food from heaven and guided them like a bright morning star. It was a sad time in the city of Jerusalem when God's great temple was taken away. God allowed a wicked and powerful enemy to punish his sinful people on that day. A cry is now made for God's salvation, seeking atonement for their previous sins, a speedy need for God's tender mercy to restore closeness with Him again. Lord God of heaven, come restore us. You have fed us with tears for some time. Return to our nation that is broken down. We need again for your face to shine. Let us now be very strong for yourself and turn our backs from the way of shame. Return and look down on us from heaven. Revive us to be obedient to your name. Thank you.